welcome to story time with me Lily, Fluffy and Minky. Say hi to the children and everyone who's watching Fluffy and Minky. Hi! So today's story is the second story about Poodleina, the cute young poodle who lives in the doggy salon with Mrs. Poodle Palm, her owner. And in the first story, Poodleina entered a poodle pageant. In today's story, she meets a new poodle who's just arrived in town. But what does that mean for Poodleina? Are you sitting really comfortably? Well, I am, so let's begin. The story is called Poodleina and the Pink Poodle by me, Lily Bean and illustrated by David Menton. Mrs. Poodle Pom was busy giving the naughty Labrador twins a wash. Geoffrey the sausage dog had arrived for his massage and pedicure. Poodleina was at her favourite spot in front of the mirror. She was filing her nails and talking to Geoffrey. The day I won the Poodle contest was the best day of my life. It was so exciting. It made all my beauty regime and hard work worth it, she said. You're a very pretty poodle, said Geoffrey happily. Just then, the salon door opened and in walked a pretty pink poodle. Poodleina's jaws dropped. And the naughty puppy twins started panting and wagging their tails. Are you new around here? said Geoffrey excitedly. You're very exotic looking. Yes, I'm visiting. I need a manicure ASAP. My nails are such a mess, said the pink poodle. Mrs. Poodle Pom rushed over to the pink poodle. I can fit you in straight away. You don't mind waiting, do you, Geoffrey? No, not at all, said Geoffrey, still staring at the pink poodle. What a beautiful pink poodle you are. I've never seen a pink poodle like you, said Mrs. Poodle Pom. Poodle now looked on sulkily. Everyone was fawning over the pink poodle. What was so special about pink anyway, she thought. For the rest of the day, Mrs. Poodle Pom pampered the pink poodle as if she was Poodleina. The customers that came and went admired the pink poodle. Isn't she pretty? said Mrs. Poodle Pete. What an unusual exotic colour, said another. I wish I had pink fur, said a young poodle. They all ignored Poodleina. It was as if she didn't exist anymore. So Pudelina paraded in her crown, but no one noticed. She did her hula hoop trick, and no one noticed. She wore her poodle bikini, but still no one noticed. Mrs. Poodle Palm has a new favorite poodle now, thought Pudelina. What was she to do? Suddenly, an idea came to Pudelina. I'll make sure I stand out too, just like the pink poodle. Then it'll be hard for everyone to ignore me, she thought. So Pusilina went in search of some yellow dye. She emptied the whole bottle into a cat tray. Then she rolled on her back and she rolled on her front and she rolled on her sides until she was completely covered in yellow dye. She waited some time, and then some more, and then some more. Finally, she rinsed the dye off and went to show the others. <gasps> Screamed Mrs. Poodle Pom when she saw Poodleina. Oh my! What have you done to yourself, Poodleina? She fretted. Don't you like my new yellow fur? It's prettier than pink, don't you think? Said Poodleina. You're not yellow, said Geoffrey. You're green. What? Pudelina gasped. 
when she saw her reflection in the mirror, she started to cry. <laughs> Mrs. Poodle Pomp shut the salon and sent everyone away, including the pink poodle. Why, oh, why did you dye your pretty fur? said Mrs. Poodle Pomp, still in shock. <laughs> to be even more beautiful just like the pink poodle everyone liked her because she's pink including you cried poodleina you're my beautiful poodleina no poodle will ever replace you pink was just different but you're my favorite said mrs poodle pom poodleina dried her tears and mrs poodle pom began pampering Pudelina, beginning with fixing her green fur. And that was the end of that story called Pudelina and the Pink Poodle. So, kids, join me next time with Fluffy and Minky for more stories about Pudelina and other stories like it. Until then, bye from me. And from Fluffy and from Minky. <laughs>